Yes, YouTube. Yes, good afternoon. First, I want to give thanks and praise unto the Most High, Jah, Rastafari, Emperor Eilis Selassie. I will live with rain out in you and I. Give thanks and praise to Yahshua, Christus. Yeah, man, I want to share something with you all today, you know. I just want to share with you the struggle that we have been going through all over these years to be where we are today. Believe me, man, we are coming from a long, long, long way. We are coming from a long way, brothers. For real, we are coming from a long way, you know. Brothers and sisters, yes. We are coming from a long way, man. For real, Rastafarian. Start up back in Jamaica, I think in the early 50s, late 50s. Before the late 50s, I can say like early, early 50s. Because the person who formed Rastafari, the Rastafari thing in Jamaica, his name was um his name was Leonard, Leonard Howell. That's the founder of Rastafari. Then it start come down the line, trickle down the line, you know, with you know other great guys, you know, Bob Marley and all them guys coming down the line. Marcus Garvey, you know. All them guys was, you know, set the way for us. You understand me? But I just want to share something with you guys, man. What we have been through to be here today, you know. I can remember back in back in the early 60s in Dominican Republic I remember when they sent out the government in Dominican Republic sent out a warning to all the Rastas that was in Dominican Republic at that time and he sent a message Tell the police guys them anywhere them see a rasta man they must kill them dead or alive bring them in kill them so for about 10 years these guys have to live up into the hills couldn't touch street couldn't touch nowhere near streets nowhere near street those guys could have touched you understand me i remember back in jamaica like in 1963 the Rastas them in Jamaica, they go through a hard time and a whole heap of brutalization from the government and the police. Anywhere them catch a Rasta man, them hold them and lock them up. Anywhere them catch a Rasta man, if they can't get the chance to kill them, them kill them back into those days. Cut off them locks, put them into jail. Rastas are in jail for months without trial. Just for being what? A Rastafari. Just by showing love. They used to talk about how Rasta are black heart people. How them are going to kill you, cut out your heart. And all the Rasta man do just show love. Love. I remember when Alexander Bustamante, I wasn't born at that time, but I hear when Alexander Bustamante. Send out the warning and send out it to the threats to the all the Rastas them and tell them to who anyway you don't see a Rasta man kill him bring him in dead or alive and his words was him have to get rid of every Rasta out of Jamaica God blind him if him not get rid of them that's what Alexander Bustamante said blind all the Rasta them blind us and God blind him if him not get rid of the rest of them out of Jamaica you understand me burn down all wheat farms and believe me trust me look at look look today look how the rest of fire is rest of fire is rising all over the world trust me say people are wear dread to their dear but them are not a you know, but them just are wear the style that could not go on one time. No way on earth. You understand me? 
So I wanna say give thanks and praise to all the man, them all the rasters, them all the rasters, them who go through all them trials and tribulation, man, to make we you can walk and go anywhere in this world free as a bird, as a rasta, man. You understand me? I wanna give thanks to all of them, man. Those who that give up their lives, major rest them soul in peace. Yeah man, for real. I remember me a listen Muta Baruka and Muta talk about how in their Bahamas one at a time. So I go over there if you go, go check over Chris Blackwell like or Chris Blackwell must have one like a studio or something over there and him go over there because you know Muta Baruka is a poet. So I go over there you now if you could do a little thing over there, you know, them uh, introduce him over there and thing and where and Muta go Bahamas and NASA And when Muta go NASA Muta say one night in there at some bridging house because him supposed to be at the hotel where him stay at you know him the, but at the time that the night them was not the hotel him there at the bridge in them yard and it's like I must say about 12 at the bridge in them and say and him make 30 so Muta say him there at the house tonight and he hear a big old commotion outside and when he check out the P.A. Babylon come down upon them and lock them up and fling them in a jeep and carry them go lock them up so Muta said while them did they in a jailhouse they took about them did they and them did they and them did they and, them did they and you just hear the rest of them a cry two by two a cry and every time he look into the man and come out with no ear upon them head and the crying go on like that go on like that Till the man he hold the 12 rasta from Bahamas and from Nassau and cut off them dread no rasta. So Muta said the man him come for him and now we cut off him here. And the man I said, oh, I know me know so I got dead, you know. Because them now nah, cut off my ear. Muta said he, he just feels say yes. No him knows so I got dead over him here. <laughs> Yo, Muta is a powerful, strong man, man. Give thanks to Muta Baruka for all these years, man. The good works out of the area for Muta. One love, my brother. So, Muta said, when the man then come and them looking at him passport and thing, and I realize him have all American visa and all them things, then they might look on him and I say, wait. Yeah, you do yourself, you have an American passport. So, Muta said, yo, my passport. I don't come from here, you know, I come from Jamaica. And this is a phone island there, so a 20 size, 27 mile long or something like that motor. So I can me, me run around this. So I send me back to my yard. A Jamaica, because I can run from one point to the next point of Jamaica. So send me, me send me go back home, man. And as so comes the man, he never cut off motor locks, you know. The man then fling motor in back on a plane. The next flight out. Yeah, man, I send back motor go back to the yard, man. So. All them little islands and them little places, yeah, brother. We got you hell. We got you hell. So, me I say, man, Muta Baruka, give thanks to you, you know, because uh, you, with this cutting edge thing, uh, you open up a whole heap of eyes out of Jamaica, brother. Because I'm born and grew in a church, you know. You understand me? I went time me I hide and listen motor road book up on the radio, you know. I be hide and listen motor, you know. And then time they battery radio, you know. We no current, you know. Motor time I done my battery. I listen motor. When mama ready to listen to our little program in the morning time and sit mm, I put the battery them in the sun. Recharge them fast so mama can't get to listen to our little program them. Yeah man. So motor baroka. Give thanks to my brother, enough love. Thank you for the good works that we are doing, brother, and keep on doing the good works, Muta, because trust me, you are the man who opened up a whole heap of young people's eyes all over the world, brother. And may the Almighty keep on to bless you, guide you, protect you from all these enemies, from all these Babylons. Yes, give thanks and praise, my brother. So, Rastafari, I come from a long way. The devil's power with there today. And I want to say, man, give thanks to Marcus Garvey, give thanks to 
Leonardo well. I want to say Martin Planner, one love brother, give thanks to you. Because a whole heap of work you put on to you, Martin. For real, Martin. A whole heap of work you put on, brother. And I want to make we can be who we is today. And can stay strong in Rastafari today. So, enough love to you, man. So, Rastafari and I come from a long way, brother. We are come from a long way. Trust me. Because trust me, back in the end days, the boy, I tell you, boy. No Christian, even no, no Christian no like we. No Christian no like we, you know. Cause sure we get to expose them and make the world say so them are dealing with a false doctrine. Them are living in a illusion. Rasta open up people's eyes and put them in the spotlight and make them know say so, yo, them are living in a illusion. So. When we look at some local things we are going over Africa with Rastafari right now, I say, yo, Jia, Selassie, I, I tell you, man, for real, I love it. I love it. And I just like, we see where the generation, the new generation are going with right now, man. Trust me, most of we know as a Rastafari. Most of we are a Selassie. I. You understand me? Yes, man. Wolipa, we are saying yes. Selassie is the Almighty. Real. Selassie I come and crown the kings of kings and lords of lords, the conquering lion out of the tribe of Judah. You understand me? The man they come and set the trend for it. You understand me? A lot of people get the thing wrong and feel like the boy, we are the boy, we are worship and we are praise Emperor Ayala Selassie. I. As we God. No, I don't like that. We don't believe in a God thing, we born God thing. You understand me? Them things that we born them thing there. We just glad for no say the man could then come and crown him and crown as kings of kings and lord of lord. You understand me? Marcus Gavi said back in the them days, look to the east, look to the east for the coming of a black king. The only black king come out of Africa was Emperor Ailey Selassie. I understand me. So, the man said, until the philosophy, which man, no man, raise up an inferior. You understand me. So, the fans, friends, I want to take in the words them of Emperor Ailey Selassie, I, man. One time I don't have time and thing, man. Just Google up some Emperor Ailey Selassie. I. Google up Marcus Garvey. Don't forget to Google up Marcus Garvey. Check out the Black Bill of Rights of Marcus Garvey. All them look at things, the more and don't study them thing there. The Black Bill of Rights. You understand me? More and on a read up on them thing there. And know your rights. You understand me? Because without Marcus Garvey, trust me, I don't know what would have happened to the black race today. You understand me? So, the hat goes off to Marcus Garvey. Great prophet. Great prophet come out of Jamaica. You understand me? The man lead out over 10 million black back to Africa. You understand? So, Rasta has been coming from a long way. And I and I glad to see which part we reached to the day. You understand me? I born and grew up in a church. Seven brothers, three sisters away. And I'm going alone come out as a Rastafarian. You understand me? So, them say many are called and few are chosen. Still. Yeah. I only for time my brother come, come call me and I come come tell me, say, Boy, you and you this slussy, you and this slussy, slussy, you dead. So, I say, hey, then Jesus not dead too. Jesus, when I call Jesus, not dead too. You understand me? Now, when I walk on up, walk up and down, the man dead and gone, as can to uno. I don't still walk around with the cross, hang down, pound of span of chest. You understand me? When I walk around the emblem of suffering, disgrace, and shame around on the neck, no need to stop wearing all them things around the neck, this cross business. You don't want to cross for me. Come and I walk with no emblem of no disgrace and shame around me. 
Because that's the emblem of disgrace and shame. The cross. So I and I burn them thing there. So I give thanks and praise for all the legendary Mutaba Roka. Because the man there who opened up my eyes in a lot of things. Yes, Mutaba Roka, give thanks and praise, my brother. So my fans, my friend, one love, peace. Just take care of yourself, man, and stay safe and be blessed. And just stop wearing the cross round on the neck. Dash with that half on the neck. Take off the cross, the, 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 the emblem of disgrace and shame off on you. And throw away that. And get to live in peace within yourself. Find peace, man. Because if you keep on going to church, you don't go find peace. You don't go always in fear. Always in a fear. I say, you don't know how me glad I'm free from them things there. I feel so good. I'm free from fear. You understand me? I don't fear worry about nothing about like them things anymore. You understand me? So, my friends, my fans, I get to the raw try, you know, because it's a black revolution, you know, I'm the business when nobody wants to say, you know. And I can't talk like this anywhere I go in the world. Anywhere I go. I don't care about nobody. You understand me? I don't care about a white boy. I don't care about a black boy. I don't care about an Indian. I don't care about nobody but my self right now. You understand me? So, I'm glad, you know, the find you who can free up my mind and free up my spirit because I can't save nobody's soul, you know. I and I can't save I and I self. You understand me? So, just look into what I talk about today. Give thanks and praise unto the Most High, Jai Rastafari, Emperor Haile Selassie. I. Give thanks and praise unto, you know, Yahshua. Give thanks and praise unto his mother, his sis. Yeah, man. So, one love, my brother. One love, my family. One love, my fans. Peace and love. Just take it easy, man. One love. Jalib. Every time.